Hello, my beautiful Leos. How are my lions doing? This reading is for September of 2020. It is the tarot reading. Please take a look at the description box below. There might be a gathering, a get together, family get together, love, romance, great celebrations, a birthday, a christening. Leo, something's happening here that you're celebrating, okay? Um, anyway, please go to the description box below, open up that description box and read it. Um, it's about 30 seconds, it takes you about 30 seconds. There you're gonna find all of the links to get to my members page, to get a reading with me, to get a donation if that's what you choose. All of that information is below. Thank you for the subscribes. Keep on subscribing. If you have been unsubscribed mistakenly, please resubscribe. Again, you've got emperor energy around you, Leo. This is a Capricorn, a Taurus, or an Aries person. Maybe you're in charge of a situation or someone around you is showing emperor type of energy. Okay, so anyway, uh, Leos, what I want you to know is that if you have been unsubscribed, uh, please go back in and resubscribe. This has been happening with a lot of people lately. Uh, don't know really the reason why, but it does happen. Make sure you give me a little thumbs up for this reading. We're going to go ahead and we're going to get started here. I'm going to pull six cards from the Rider Waite. And then I'm going to pull one card from the Witch's Tarot. And that is because uh, I want to give you guys a sneak peek on what those extended readings look like and all of the information you get with those extended readings by becoming a member to my website. Again, you're traveling. You're traveling, Leo. You're, it, the traveling is moving forward. That is this energy. Maybe you're being put in a position, a powerful position or a position to be able to move other people forward. Maybe you're assisting people in moving from one place to another, Leo. All right, let's do one more shuffle and then we'll cut the deck. Here we go, Leo. Please put your energy in the decks you see before you. Cutting the deck. First card, second card. Third card, fourth card, fifth card, and sixth card. All right, Leos, what have we got going on with you? All right, Leos, are we ready? Your first card is the Four of Cups. Leos, I'm going to ask you, um, please pay attention to your phone. You have got some information coming in that you need to know about. Pay attention to your emails, pay attention to your phone, text messages. You are going to get a call that is rather unexpected, and you might be busy in a social environment, uh, celebrating in that social environment, out with friends. You need to pay attention to your phone and your texts that are coming in. Very, very important to um, not ignore that particular um, energy, Leo. It's I'm just hearing that you could miss a text or a call that is very, very, very important. Let's get into the second card. You have the Hermit. This might be something, a Leo coming in from a uh, physician type of person. It could be a physician. It could be a wise leader. It could be a counselor. It could be someone that is a Virgo person. It could also be someone that is doing some research for you. And they have news for you. And they need to get a hold of you right now. Very, very important. Very important, Leo. That's what's happening here. This is the fourth house energy. This may have something to do with home, with family, with children, okay? This may have something to do with your country. Uh, Leo, also, this could be coming from a ninth house energy, a Sagittarian energy, foreign people, foreign lands, people politics, uh, this could also be a higher education, legal law. The occult optimism is coming up here. You may get a call, Leo, and you really should be paying attention to that. Or if other people are taking your phone calls for you, make sure that that message gets uh, transmitted is what I'm hearing. But this is physician energy here. What is your third card? The Six of Pentacles. The Six energy is a choice. It's a partnership. It is alms dispensed with justice. Something is coming up here where there is a rebalancing of who gets what. 
something is happening, Leo, where finally someone is coming through and saying, okay, we are now going to offer this to you. This is what needs to be done. Are you ready to receive? Are you ready to move? Are you ready to go? Is what I'm hearing, Leo. So please be aware of that energy. But this could be the allocation of funds, the allocation of money for people in need. Maybe for people that you're supporting right now, Leos. Children. Definite physician energy in this, uh, in this reading in September, Leos. Maybe you're married to a physician, but definitely coming up here. So what is your fourth card? The Emperor. Go figure, Leo. This is the card that showed up when we were doing the shuffle. At the bottom of the deck, something is going on here. Leo, you have somebody extremely important trying to get a hold of you. Or you may be the person that is extremely important trying to get a hold of someone else. This is someone that is an emperor. They're a king. They're a queen. They're an emperor. They're an empress. They're in charge. Very important, Leo, for you to be... Um, paying attention around this time in September. In fact, I know somebody that's a Leo moon right now. I'm going to tell them, you better be paying attention to your phone this entire time because you're getting a command from someone. This could be a commander in chief here. This is an Aries person, a Capricorn person, or a Taurus person. All about two fours, all about stability, the home and the family. Definitely coming up here. Needing to make that choice, needing to move forward, needing to say, hey, what direction am I going to go here? Who do I want to partner with? What am I going to offer other people? There's research being done on this. What is your fifth card, Leo? Home and family. Somebody doing research on the family. Leo, someone might be doing research on your family. Leo, something is coming up here where the family is going to be reunited. There's going to be a family reunion. There's going to be research regarding the family reunion. Where are we going to go? What time do we need to be there? What are we going to do? When are we going to meet up? Do we need to bring anything? That is that type of energy. There might be a family physician that might be involved in uh, family dynamics as it relates to September of 2020. But the family is strong. And the reason the family is strong, Leo, is because there is a strong leader in the family. But again, pay attention to the messages coming in. It's about getting back together with someone in the family or extended family, people that feel like family. What is the sixth card? Six of Wands, success, Leos. You are leaving the month with success. You are the commander of the family in success. In excess. <laughs> you remember that old group, in excess? Fly away. <laughs> Give me a moment. Anyway. That is what's happening. You are successful again. You are moving forward again. You are leaving September with so much support of family, of authority. You are the authority. This could also be, Leo, that you specifically are ignoring someone. And because you're ignoring them and you're not listening to them, you are not distracted and therefore you regain your control. You regain your, your kingship, your emperor, your empress energy because you're not being distracted. But I think for some of you, this is a call. This is a call about success. You being put in the commander's seat again. Be prepared. September, you're getting a message. Do you want to be the commander, Leo, 
It appears you do. You are the commander here. Because you're doing appropriate research about who you can and cannot trust regarding your family. You are only letting certain people in. You could be going through, Leo, some sort of background check where the family is being checked on to see if they have any criminal activity or anything like that. But that is what's coming up here. And it looks like you're in the clear with that, Leo. Or someone is in the clear with that particular type of energy. Wow. What, let, let's go ahead and look at the Four of Cups here and see why the Four of Cups is here. There is a completion. There is a choice. And I think, Leo, you're making the right decision relative to your family and your career. You're the commander this month, Leo. It just is what it is. I think it's because the sun is in your second house of self-value, the money you make from the company you work for, the money you make from the business you own. All right, why is the Four of Cups here, Leo? There it is. Ace of Wands reversed. So there was a new beginning that was thwarted. And because that new beginning was thwarted, Leo... You are now in a situation where you are like, you know what? Don't bite the hand that feeds you. I tried to help you. You thwarted me. Now I have other things I need to pay attention to. That could be for some of you Leos out there. For other Leos out there, this, this is a stayed state. This is um, a stalemate. Something gets stayed. Something does not move forward. Something has not moved forward. But are you getting the message to move forward now? We'll find out what all of the other uh, cards will bring in as it relates to the clarifying energy or a completely new reading. All right, Leos, I wish you the best. Looks like a fabulous reading. You are the commander this September, so act like it. All right, wish you the best. Much light, much love, and many blessings. Namaste.